up guys, recently there have been a lot of comments. Comments like this. And comments like that are just mean. So I don't think that you guys are gonna hurt my feelings and I don't really care what you think. <laughs> So, I started looking around the YouTube lands to find other kinds of content that I could make that would be entertaining and fun to edit in Premiere, and boy did I find a ton of content for these kind of haul videos. You guys know the type. Videos like this. I was just in the mood to spend money. I was just in the mood to spend money, so I did. I'm about to work out, so I can't really eat anything. I don't know what kind of workout she's doing, but I want to be a part of that. So anyway, the basic premise is that uh, typically, or atypically, attractive young women go out and just buy a bunch of stuff. Yay, capitalism! Now I was willing to pass up completely on this type of content because frankly, it's boring as all get out. It's a bunch of people unpackaging clothes and half the time not even trying them on. Wait, how many views? Well, color me surprised. If you can't beat them, let's go do a Target haul. All right, you ready to do this thing? You mean to film you in the middle of Target? Absolutely. You doing a haul video? I'm coming too. <laughs> Something really important. Okay. Okay, already. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Where are you going though? Toys. Alright, so found my uh, safe place, the Nerf Isle. Luckily, there's actually a sale going on right now, which is super duper sweet. But uh, I finally figured out why all of the other haul channels don't have segments in the actual store. And that's because everybody looks at you like you're a crazy person if you have a friend filming you with a DSLR. So... So this is like hilarious. I don't really understand these. This is like you mounted a head from your hunt, but instead of it being an actual trophy, you buy a plushy version of it. So you have zebras, which I guess you can hunt. I don't really know. Then you have panda bears, which I'm positive you can't hunt. And then you have flamingos, which I don't know why you'd want to hunt. But how could you miss the selfie of a bear with his flower crown? Definitely went to Coachella. Put your hands up, put your, put your hands up. All right, so last goofy thing, guys. This tray of resin, which is supposed to be water but is not actually water, is on clearance. So instead of being a great deal at $10, now it's a bargain at five. Who does this? Who needs water, fake water trays? haul itself. But wait, if I've learned one thing from all these basic chicks making these unboxing video haul thing type videos, is that I'm in the wrong setting. The workshop is not the place for this, so we're gonna have to take it all down and set it up in the Draculina's bedroom because I sleep in a hole in the ground. So, let's set that up next. Almost there, but one thing is still missing. Wait for it, wait for it. Pajama drag! Thumbs up for BB-8 slippers, they're the best. All right, so let's get into the haul, which is what people seem to care about in these types of videos. And the basic premise is that it's like an unboxing video, except you hardly take anything out of the box. It's mostly about telling people why you bought stuff, because capitalism. So, let's start with the biggest box or bag here. It's an unbagging video, really. This is two Nerf Rival Chaos. And these are just ultra sweet rival blasters and because I bought the two most expensive, Team Red, of course, you can get any one blaster for free basically. So I got these guys which were on sale for $54, plus with the buy two get one free they made the Artemis free completely. So they're each in and of themselves a rival reload kit and they have the magazines with them and the magazines are selling for like actual dollars at various wars and stuff. So. I highly anticipate that I will have the Chaos, which I can use for modifications, and I will be able to utilize the parts from them. So I'm kind of going to cannibalize them up, but that is not a huge deal. 
Then of course our free blaster is the Nerf Rival Artemis. This is the latest sprayer offering and it was just like, again, uh, a fair price, but it was free in this case. It comes with plenty of rival rounds, which we always need for the SCNC, and this is quickly becoming one of the absolute most popular loaner blasters. So, if you're familiar with the Southeast Nerf Club, and if you're not familiar with the Southeast Nerf Club, you should check us out on Facebook down below. We run a monthly warp, once a month, second Saturday, where everything is totally free. You can come, you can play, you can borrow loaner blasters, all the darts are provided, thousands and thousands of dart, absolutely for free, and uh, we have high attendance, roughly 80 to 100 players every month, so the finest foam-flinging army in the world by far is the Southeast Nerf Club. No contest, taking all comers, come on down if you're in the region, it's a great time, an awesome date, and a really fun way to spend time with your fam. Moving along. I'm free! Easily the most expensive thing that I bought at Target. She kept putting stuff in the bag. Again, rocking that killer Nerf sale, we got not one, not two, but three Nerf Desolators. These are awesome. With the buy two, get one free sale, these are basically 20 bucks, which is basically the MSRP of Stripes. They are a Target exclusive, so this is the only way to get them, and the cheapest way to get them. They come with a Boss Custom Magazine, and they're just a really cool platform of a blaster in and of themselves. They're basically a Stripe, but they have a built-in stock and I really, really like them. So some of them will probably wind up being in projects, but the rest of them will probably just sit in the storage room until it's time for our big December charity push. Now, this was actually a surprise, guys. This is Fintiman's Ginger Beer. Now, not to be confused with an actual alcoholic beverage, this is ginger beer that is non-alcoholic, but has a monster bite to it. Now, I've gotten this before in the, the UK and in certain places in Europe, but I had no idea that you could buy it in the States yet. This is delicious stuff. Now, you have to, like, really enjoy the taste of ginger because it almost burns going down, but it's a great beverage in and of itself. It was reasonably priced for being in the States in an import beverage, and uh, it makes a killer dark and stormy. All right, as for our last bag, we have a few things in here. What? is this? Some sort of strange hat armor, I think. It is impossible to take the Draculina to Target without her buying random weird stuff. This is very strange armor. It seems way too soft to be effective for actual foam battle. But, I mean, you LARP how you want to LARP, I guess. Again, it's difficult to get any kind of real deal on AccuStrike darts, but these are some of the best darts that Nerf themselves is making right now. Coming in 24 packs at a very reasonable price, the two-for-one deal applied to them as well. So, that was a pretty good deal too, and I was very happy to pick up some of those for use in personal blasters at my next HBZ event. And then, the final thing in our Target haul is these Sweet Tarts Mini Chewies. Now, this is, of course, another Draculina purchase. I have no idea if these are tasty or not, but there's only one way to find out. So, these look like they could be a no. pretty tasty... You clean them up. You're still gonna eat them, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so, thank you guys very much for watching. This was obviously like really weird content for me. I did it because I thought it would be funny. I don't know if it was funny, so your comments and likes are sincerely appreciated because they let me know that this was a interesting video to make and that you at least were mildly entertained. If you were, let me know, and the next time we will attack the Mac Daddy O of capitalism itself. We will take this charade to Wally World. Much love, Nerf on, Drac out. Yeah!